Hi guys, back for another video. Someone asked me a couple of days ago if I've had any damage from the heat wave we had a few days ago. Uh, yeah, I did, of course. This tree always gets um, damaged because it's in, um, well, it's in a place where it's going to get the full brunt of the hot sun in the late afternoon. So it really shouldn't be there in um, summer. But that's where I have it. And every year, every year, every summer, the same thing happens to it. Um, that. And that. Full on sunburn. No mercy. See that? This is a tropical magnolia, which I've had for eight years in a pot. And it takes our winters 100% perfectly fine I've got another one in the shade zero damage from the heat wave zero see the difference between shade and sun exposure the evidence is right there it's right 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 here in this video that's in the late afternoon Sun and this one it gets a little morning Sun maybe for an hour or two absolutely spotless as far as um, damage no damage zero so I hope that answers your question I'm not gonna go around all the trees to show you what else was damaged um, whatever was in the Sun in the late afternoon was damaged that's uh, a summary the same with this uh, fig leaf see how it's dried up and that one there this, this is not a big deal guys. This is not a big deal. Look at the size of the tree. It's got um, 10 million leaves on it So if um, seven leaves were burnt who cares? right The mango the Pinkerton mango which has been struggling again Also suffered um, damage Damage well, it's drooping right no matter how much I water it, it's drooping because it's not getting proper shade protection I try to put these two banana um, plants in front of it, but that's not adequate and Sad to say it's getting dieback again. The dieback is back on the Pinkerton and it's dropped almost all its fruit I think there's only two left Yeah, so there we go. We're back to the same thing that happened last summer The Pinkerton is going backwards so you got um, Leaf leaf um, drop leaf burn leaf droop die back it's all happening on the Pinkerton I'm not really that fast see what happened from 37 38 Celsius yeah so I don't know I don't know what's wrong with this Pinkerton it survived the first uh, um, three summers magnificently and then summer number four, downhill. And this is summer number five, downhill. So it took three and a half years for its true colors to show. It's a bit of a weakling. Yeah, it's a bit of a weakling, guys. It can't take the sun. After five years, it's a six-year-old tree and it still can't take the sun. Ah, oh, man. Or as the Fuerte, which is around the same age, roughly one year less or more. Look at that, stunning. But it is getting morning shade in the morning. And now in the afternoon, it's getting afternoon sun. But this hot afternoon sun is not affecting it like it's affecting the Pinkerton, the Sook. See the difference in leaf color? Yellow avocado leaves, green avocado leaves. See that? And this orange tree, which is only a year old, this baby, gets full sun morning and afternoon. Look what the 37 Celsius did to this. It made it um, flower. It got it to flower and set all this new growth. See that? Look at that. That's why I'm telling you guys up there in the tropics, the temperate um, climate fruit 
trees are tougher than the tropical the tropical um, uh, fruit trees look at this star fruit it doesn't like hot sun again it wants shade look at it it's a sook same with the longan it likes the hot sun but um, wow look at the leaves you'll never see this on any of my citrus my citrus will not do that the uh, um, kiwi berry was affected by the heat wave too see this but I'm not phased I really don't care guys the kiwi berry for me is just a novelty it's not um, the be all ends all but wow major um, heat damage but it'll come back it'll come back another one was this um, ornamental ginger this is more to do with um, lack of water I don't water these uh, plants at all no watering whatsoever if I watered it it wouldn't droop like this these are beautiful um, ornamental plants but they're not well suited to our climate because we don't get rain in summer whereas in the tropics it rains all the time right in summer whereas here in Melbourne it rains all the time in winter when these are dormant these are sleeping in winter and now that they're awake it's, they're asking where's the rain where's the water why aren't we being watered the reason they're not being watered is because they're in Melbourne and Melbourne only rains sparingly in summer okay we're not in uh, Darwin or, or um, Queensland or even Sydney where it rains all the time we get our rain in winter guys when it's 7 and 11 Celsius that's when it rains every day more ginger there that's um, affected my yogi ginger see how it's collapsed because I'm not watering it I'm not gonna water the ornamentals sorry they're not a priority to me they uh, have to stand on their own the other guy that was severely affected by the heat wave is this uh, pepino bush again I don't water it look at the leaves absolutely dried out like oregano just this far away from turning into dust but it doesn't affect the, the fruit luckily the fruit still um, believe it or not hangs on and waits for the next um, drop of water <laughs> it's not gonna come from me it's gonna have to come from the rain from up uh, up there don't look to me I'm not gonna I'm not gonna water you because uh, he's a he's a pig he wants uh, he wants to drink every day so pepino bad news for the pepino but the good news is one rainfall one good rainfall and he's back all these leaves miraculously guys they come good again they 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 just go in reverse to what they are now it's a miracle it's like there's some way they can hold on to dear life like like this until that those um, raindrops come so that's why I'm not phased by this uh, deathly look bougainvillea or bougainvillea is has a, has the opposite effect of the uh, pepino look at this I've never watered it in 12 years since it's been there not not one drop from me and look how it's thriving huh why aren't the pepino leaves this healthy strange huh some of it's in the shade there but the rest of it is in full sun and no dry damage or sun damage sunburn nothing isn't it interesting to observe the differences with plants and of course I'm not gonna forget these guys the ultimate sooks every summer the tropical youngsters the tropical seedlings oh man talk about work they keep me on my feet for three months every year back and forth back and forth they don't like the Sun listen to this they don't like the hot Sun they don't like winter they don't like too much water <laughs> um, 
that just there's a lot of don't likes on on their list don't like don't like don't like don't like don't like these guys now if these were apricot peach apple orange seedlings we wouldn't be talking about this so a huge difference with the tropical uh, youngsters here in Melbourne in our climate because we don't have humidity we don't have rain right that's what these guys are depending on rain humidity and warm weather not 37 27 27 wet humid conditions and a little sun not a lot of sun until they're big boys like like that so I think you got the idea right guys I'm gonna finish off with the black sapoti there's the uh, sun damage on it Oop, see how they just came into my hand these are last year's leaves they're falling to make way for these new ones now the the young leaves these ones were not affected by the 40 celsius these old ones were these ones here see how it came off watch this watch this guy here hang on see that guy there watch just came in my hand so yeah the ones that were affected by the by the sun are um, mulch so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that they're uh, affected because um, they're gonna fall anyway that one's just sitting there right oh there you go and all the new growth has come it's really strange that the the very uh, young and tender leaves aren't affected by 40 Celsius, but the leathery, thick ones are. Mmm, interesting, huh? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video on what um, was affected by the heat wave. There's a lot more I can show you, but that's, that's pretty much enough. Um, what was affected by the heat wave? What's affected in Melbourne during summer uh, and it sure ain't palms these palms are um, are uh, beasts look at this little um, giant bird of paradise I've never seen this before he's uh, flowering at um, knee level at knee height have a, have a look at this see how low he is I've never seen that before from uh, a giant bird of paradise they usually flower up there pretty cool huh all right guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you from the next video, huh? Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And set the notification bell to remind you of the next videos. We're making almost one video a day now during the growing season. Bye, guys.